What's up, Zillow Nation? All right, it's so cold, I'm blowing my breath in the car. And my breath ain't hot. It's actually minty fresh right now. But hey, y'all, just saying what's up. Just got out of work, man. Warming up the vehicle. I figured I'd talk to y'all for a minute or two while the vehicle's getting warm because it is frozen tundra. All right. It's another beautiful day. It's marvelous. Today is, let's see. Today's Tuesday, January 11th. And it's my motherfucking birthday week, goddammit. So, I figured to share some stuff with y'all, man. I was talking to Jay Mills earlier about a bunch of stuff, man. And I wanted to elaborate more because I had a couple... My last video last night that I made for y'all was like 20 minutes. So, I'm posting that tonight. This will be posted tomorrow. But, man, I just... um Went thinking about a lot, man. And what I was saying with y'all, man, how I'm changing and evolving. And I appreciate the channel so much. How much it's doing for me just on my mental... Just to get able to get things off my chest, man, and just like, you know, hey, just explaining my life. You know what I mean? I'm not and here's the thing, everybody has their choice to listen and partake in what they want to partake in, you know what I'm saying? So it's been nice, you know, it's really been nice. And like I said, I'm gonna take y'all on a journey with everything. It's just I've been adjusting because like I said, man, it's just so much has changed in life and expectations and things to do and not to do and how people are and it's just a mess, man, and it's like, I feel like at times, man, I kind of lose myself because I just, like, like I said, I get my mind, my mind gets the best of me, and I shouldn't let it, so it's just one of the things, The one of the things I always want to focus on is just taking a step back and just doing what's best, you know what I'm saying, so I I realized I'm not going to be getting, like, I used to be high-tempered and just frustrated and stressed, and all it does is just fuck you up because nobody else cares like you, you know what I'm saying, like, People can understand, but at the end of the day, if you feel a certain way and passionate about certain things, it's you. You know what I'm saying? So, I guess all I'm saying is to y'all people is like, you know, and I always say this, do what's best for you. And just, uh, that's it, man. That's all you can really do. That's how I feel about a lot of shit anymore, man. It's just, uh, you know what, I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to put this shit up here and vlog. <laughs> Let's see if it stays. I don't know. It might stay. Uh, oh, shit. I could talk to y'all while I'm driving. Hey. <laughs> yeah. But nah, man, I'm uh, just doing my thing, man, and just having a good old time. And uh, what can I say? <laughs> I'm messing with my boys at work and stuff, but I'm heading home now. But uh, I guess I'll talk to y'all for a little bit on my way home. But uh, as I was saying, man, how I feel... But a lot of stuff, oh, that ain't good. That's shaking like hell. Hold on. Let's see what it does now. Oh, we might be okay. But um, quick things. Like, you know, I've just been feeling that way. And just uh, a lot of stuff on my mind with a lot of things, man. It's just, um, I guess, since I'm so hard on myself at times, it's just the point that uh, I just be all over the place. I really do. And I don't mean to. It just happens, you know. And like I told you the other day, I just my mental was off. I, I haven't worked out and it's not like I just sit on my ass and do nothing like I'm actually getting shit done it's just what happens is um I don't get enough done that I want to get done so it's really on me you know but otherwise I just I don't know I just feel marvelous now you know it's another great year born you know about to be 35 like my tires you know what I'm saying and uh, keep it moving. I used to say 30 like my rims, but that don't sound right. 35 rims, rims don't sound right either. So I got to come up with a better slogan. But otherwise, man, I just uh, on my way home to get on this grind. I'm sorry about the shakiness, y'all. I'm going to try to get it to stop. I'm hoping I get this fucking mount to be more sturdy. Let's try it now. Oh, uh, we'll see. This might work. So, yeah, man, I just... um. I take everything with a grain of salt now. Like, yes, don't get me wrong. I get amped up, you know, and I think everybody has their limit and breaking point. And I deal with a lot of fuckery, a lot on the regular. So with me saying that, y'all can only imagine when I sample y'all up, it, that's just a sample. We ain't talking about everything on a fucking daily basis of the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just sampling y'all uh, what I hear and what I see and what it said to me. You know, like motherfuckers will have the audacity. I remember make y'all laugh. I was at Sam's Club one morning, right? I'm a plus member. Sam's Club, I, it, depending on where you are, it may not be a Sam's Club, whatever. It's like BJ's and Costco's, whatever. You buy in bulk. I like to buy in bulk. I'm a big man. I had a lady clinch her purse up. <laughs> now, I see this lady every morning. <laughs> make you laugh. Every morning, I see this lady. 
Oh, not every morning. Every Thursday morning because I'm a Plus member. So when they open, I, I'm allowed to go like two hours early, right? Every time, this lady would see me every every Thursday. She clenches up her purse when I walk by her. So you know what I said to her? I said, hey, I'm not that black. <laughs> I'm not going to rob you. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and her husband laughed, you know what I'm saying? Because of this ignorant. But then I, I get people, I was at Staples the one day, right? I'm uh, faxing something off. I'm doing something. And it's this older lady there. And there's a girl behind the counter. She's cool. She's helping everybody. I'm not being bothered. So I guess the girl behind the counter and this older lady keep going back and forth. So the older lady's like, well, I don't know if that's your girlfriend or anything. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Why would that be my girlfriend? Because she's she's black? So, like, you know, of course I'm going to get mad. Because I would, like, I can't, I guess I'm not built yet for uh, this to let shit go. Like, I'm getting there. But I, I have, I, I. It's hard for me sometimes. I'm working on that, but come on, man. How much shit do I have to let go? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't. I can't do it. I'm not that good yet. You know what I mean? That's a great quote from a great man I know. I'm not that good yet. Better than me. So I, I wasn't raised that way. You know what I mean? I really wasn't. So it's was like all this fuckery and shit that I deal with at times, like it gets daunting on me. You know what I mean? And that's why I try to work out. I try to do things early. I try not to be bothered because... You know, I try to avoid the people the best I can, and you shouldn't live that way, but I can't help you. You know what I mean? But I'm getting better, man. It, it's all good. And, and that's, just, and then actually, this, all the fuckery that I deal with for friends, family, and whatever, work, it motivates me to, to be better and do better. So this way, I ain't got to deal with this bullshit because when I'm living life on my terms, half these cocksuckers I won't see. <laughs> I won't be bothered. Oh, shit, we're shaking like a salt shaker. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Big bump. Let's see. Yeah, just stop. Yeah, I never did this before. I like make a video on my way home like this. Like I've done clips and stuff on the gram, but never did it like this. And you hear my loud ass car. No, I don't have a fart can on here. The exhaust broke right in the middle, like the rest of my damn exhaust do. Like you would figure, man, I'm a race car driver. I don't beat the hell out of this car. It gets me from point A to point B. Cause this is gonna be the first giveaway car. When I get everything situated So I got a nice list of things I want to do with this It has like 172,000 miles on it now It runs great I'm going to redo the motor and the trans At 200,000 And do all the stuff I want to do to it At that time And I'm going to make it the giveaway car Or raffle, however the hell you want to put it So I have to decide I bought a lot of stuff for it already um, In due time I'll put that stuff on But for right now it just gets me from point A to point B until I get the truck and my CRV and my Jaguar home. So I'm working on those things now too. But otherwise, man, I'm marvelous. I'm gonna go home, make some calls, take a nice shower. I had got up yesterday and uh, washed some clothes, folded some stuff. I'm gonna do a couple of things around the crib that I wanna start doing a routine of when I don't have to do stuff after work. Let's go home, organize papers and Hopefully at some point I will plateau where everything is done so I can just go home and just work out and then go to bed So we're gonna get to those points man, you know Grind time baby grind time make this money, but uh, it should be an awesome day man Like I told y'all man, I'm about to get everything real lovely with NASCAR gang gang all day baby all day We're gonna be getting things going and um, I got more merch coming just to let everybody know I'm gonna be having sizes small to 3xl so anybody who wants a shirt let me know. I'm doing all the shirts in black, and um, I'm doing all the shirts in black, and I'm doing random colors with the lettering. So it's gonna say uh, Zilla Chronicles, Zilla Chronicles in the front, like it did on the last batch, and then I'm gonna have my Instagram and YouTube on the back. So that will be my last bit of shirts that I'll be giving away for free, because what I'm gonna be working on is uh, working on the website in the next couple of months and getting uh, clothing vendors. So now, at, when I get my website up, this way I can just click on my website and order to stri uh, order straight from there because I'm going to be doing pins, hats, uh, sweatshirts, I'm, well, hoodies, sweatshirts. I'm more so hoodies. Um, I'm going to be doing sweatpants. And for the females, I'm going to be doing leggings and sh shirts for y'all. So I'm going to make everything pretty universal because I want to offer things to males and females. So I got a book of stuff that's gonna have my sayings and quotes, you know, all Brandon Latimer stuff I've said over the years and um, be a lot of options and uh, great quality. 
Like, don't get me wrong, the shirts that I got out, and a big shout out to my boy Tyler, um, always does a great job and is really quick on everything. But the problem I have with a lot of stuff, I can't get the bigger sizes. So I want to be able to go to a 5 or 6 X L, And I'm probably going to be doing slippers too. Um, I've been working with uh, Dust108 slash Aurora Soul, getting a lot of input from them, for that gentleman there. Um, he's been very helpful. I appreciate him dearly. And uh, one thing I want to work on too, um, in the near future when I get a desktop, um, I would like to, I need to work on better on my description. Like when I have, I would like to have everything linked in the bottom that needs to be linked in the bottom of my description. Like, you know, my YouTube and Instagram, not saying I'm lazy. It's just a pain in the neck to try to, you know, keep editing, try to like incorporate all these things. Like there's no reason why I shouldn't have NASCAR gang gang, uh, vlogging with Angie and kids, you know, certain things in my description. So I'm going to be working on that in the next coming months. But to be honest with y'all, 2022 for me is just going to be my stepping stone to uh, get y'all ready for 2023 because I got a lot of big things coming this year and next year. So that's what I'm really focusing on. So with that being said, you know, doing those things, uh, my page and everything be a lot more um, tasteful and that sort. And like, you see, I'm looking rough right now. This is the last week of this. I'll be getting a haircut every week because I look like Frodo Baggins in the mountains right now. I can't be looking like this. Like, I'm from the 13th Warrior. You know what I mean? So, just focusing on those things, man. And also, too, I wanted to tell y'all, I want to keep y'all in the loop of what's going on. You know what I mean? I do apologize to y'all that, you know, it's not more content. But, like, even I was just looking up some things like, you know, I love New York. I'm a New Yorker by heart. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised. Lived in Jersey for 10 years. Now I'm in PA since 05. So, you know, I've done my traveling, but I'm a New York, I'm a New York head by heart. So, um, in regards to me saying that, a lot of restaurants and stuff that I used to go to as a kid and as a teenager and as an adult, you know, I want to take you out there with me. And like, I just looked up the one place in City Island, they only open on Mondays now, you know? So I remember when I was a kid, they weren't open in the winter. Now they're only open on Mondays now. So I got to see what happens this spring and summer. Because um, I do have some plans of taking some time off, um, probably a, a solid three weeks uh, spread out in regards to like, I might, I'm thinking about taking a week in May, a week in August, and a week in September. And that would just be my time to just get out and do what I want to do, have some fun, and, uh, you know, take you out for the ride. Because by that, by those times, I should have my GoPros. And um, I'm working on getting a Mac uh, desktop, so my editing game will be a lot better. Or find somebody that can edit or teach me how to edit so I can get these things done. Because um, I'll be honest with you, like I'm getting to the point now, I'm really tired of just recording on my phone. I feel like my quality could be a lot better. So I want to work on that. And uh, it, trust me, a lot of things like a lot of things that um, maybe that's been said or have opinions about, not saying y'all being negative, but it's just like, just me, the way I am, I'm thinking bigger picture of how I want things, you know what I mean? I watch a lot of YouTubers and, you know, analyze a lot of things and also too, just having a standard, you know, I have a standard of what I would want things to be. So like, that's going to take time and money. And the biggest thing is, is money. You know, as I told y'all before, people who don't really watch the channel on the, on the regular, you know, I do own a home. I have multiple vehicles. I have other things I do. And I work um, probably 60 or 70 hours a week on top of trying to do all this. So it's all a balance game. You know what I mean? People may have an opinion that you're doing too much, but I always been that way because when the ducks fall, everything falls in line. It's like dominoes, you know, like with my house, I don't have one project going on. I have multiple, <coughs> excuse me. I've had a lot of things done but I had to backtrack because what happened was some things got done and then it was a domino effect. Something else got messed up in the process of this getting done. So I'm working on that this year that I won't have that problem. Me try to think ahead the best I can. Owning a home, you have those things that happen that, you know, shit hits. So it's being a homeowner, you know what I mean? I love my house. As I explained to you in previous videos that, um, you know, if I could do it all over again, I might not have, you know what I mean? I mean, like I said before, I probably would have did a dope apartment and would have had a little bit more money to invest into myself in regards to doing my YouTube and traveling, you know, but I don't take away that the peace, I'm, I'm going home to my peace and tranquility now. This is my paradise, you know, 
So I, I make best of the situations because anything in life you do is going to be a pro and con. You know what I'm saying? So I just accept that fact. And instead of me harping on the negative and harping on the cons, it's time for me to focus on the positive 25-8. You know what I'm saying? And 25-8, I got that from Eric Thomas. Big shout out to him. You know, I listen to a lot of his motivationals. And, you know, to be honest with you, a lot of his stuff really got me through some things in my life when I hit some low points. I remember years ago, I went through a bad breakup and um, a motivational came on from Eric Thomas and T.D. And T. Jakes. Uh, yes, the preacher. It was just said, let it go. And since then, man, like the motivational has always been a great thing for me to get my mind right because this shit just happens. You know what I mean? It's just life. So... I go from there and do my thing, man. This is marvelous. But car is loud as hell. And I noticed too, uh, with my YouTube uh, subscribers and you know the Zilla Nation squad, you know I notice you guys like when I do the longer videos because I get more views. The shorter videos don't get your attention. So I'm gonna try to work on doing longer videos on the regular for you guys, since you it seems like y'all enjoy me talking, and I appreciate it. You know what I mean? Always, I always tell people, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. But if you don't like what it is, and you don't like what my channel is, it's okay. I respect you. You know, we're going to have trolls out there. I just did a video about that one a couple of weeks ago, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is ignorance is bliss. You know, there's always going to be a hater. And I, I guess when I get the haters and the fuckery, I'm doing something right. You know, but we all know they ain't going to come step to the gate. You know what I'm saying? They won't poke the teddy bear from the screen like, woo. But they ain't gonna poke me in person. So it is what it is, man. But uh, everything else is well with me right now, man. I'm gonna head home. I just wanna say big shout out to everybody, man. I appreciate everything. I appreciate your patience. And I appreciate people who check on me when they notice I'm not doing my same algorithm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm very structured and sometimes, you know, I, like lately, for the past couple of months, I've been posting consistently at night after 12 or I've been posting every day on Instagram and YouTube. So with that being said, some people who notice my routines are expecting me to have post up and a video up. If they don't see it, they, they message me and I appreciate that, man. I, I appreciate the love, you know what I'm saying? As I explained to y'all, I do a lot of stuff and sometimes, you know, I get overwhelmed or not even overwhelmed, just overly tired because, you know, the night shift life, that takes a toll on your body. You know, it's a big difference, you know? People don't realize, you know, you up all night when people are sleeping. So, you know, you know the saying, why well, everybody's sleeping, I'm working. And that's the truth, you know what I'm saying? So, I try to, one thing I said for this new year, 2020, 20, 2022, of being a new me, new year, is uh, trying to manage in my time to make, uh, to use my time as uh, as uh, gracefully as possible that it is health beneficial. So, like, yeah, if I'm at work, and let's say it's slow and I got some time, I might work on a list. I might make a video real quick. You know, I try to utilize everything that I can at all times. You know what I'm saying? So it's just it's just the mental getting that right. But I'm trying to get this body right for summer. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get big again. Even though I am big, but I'm just trying to get in better shape, more definition, more muscle. But uh, I'm going to head home, y'all. Um, I'm on Route 78 now. About to go to the Mean Streets of Monk Chunk. In the mean street, because it's rough, the east and scary, you know what I'm saying? I always laugh, like, I'm no disrespect to Pennsylvania, but like, I've seen shit, you know, sometimes people, man, what they think is the hood, I'm like, this ain't shit, these is brownstones, like, it's funny, quick little story, you know, it, I, Phillipsburg's right near my house, and I was talking to a girl that lived in Phillipsburg at one time, and they said, like, I went to a crib, they was like, oh, that's the hood, I'm like, this shit is the same house as mine. <laughs> That's the funny shit. Make you laugh. And it was like Section 8 housing. Her shit was nicer than my shit. So I was like, wow. They consider this the hood? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but that's another thing. I gotta I gotta work on that with my um I guess you could say the way I look at things and see things with my I'm like, really? Like what the fuck? Like, you know, oh I'm pop like blah, 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 blah. sorry. So you know. I guess, man, I just have a, a, a type of mind state where it's like, I just be laughing like, this is what y'all think is this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not saying I'm cocky or anything. It's just, I don't know. I guess I must be. It must be the New York in me or something. I must, I guess I just really don't give a fuck. Unless it scares the shit out of me or bother me, 
if I don't get that same expectation from other people, I'm like, you're a bitch. You're a punk. You know what I'm saying? Not to say, sorry, shouldn't use the word bitch. You're a punk. Just use that. Remember, working on the language here. I got to stop acting uh, so uh, vulgar. You know what I mean? I need to, I wasn't raised that way. I need to work on my vernacular, my vocabulary, and try to coordinate, you know what I'm saying? This is a better way to explain myself, you know? But I'm chilling, y'all. I'm about to head home. I will holla at y'all. Everybody have a great day. Blessings. It's my motherfucking birthday week, baby. Ugh. Couple more days. We be at the fool. What? What? So, yeah. I will holla at y'all, man. Take care. Make every day the best day you can, even if it's negative shit. Turn it into positive. And, yo, the best thing I always like to say and do, do whatever works for you. Find your purpose. Big shout out to Royal Soul for telling me that. Find your purpose and what is your purpose. Figure that out and live life on your terms, man. Because life's too short not to. You know what I'm saying? One love to everybody, man. Peace.